So recently I noticed that a lot of my friends are either in long-term committed relationships or are on the track to get married. Like I actually have some friends that are getting married this summer, others that are engaged, others that are getting ready to get engaged. And then there's me, fresh out of a long-term relationship, thinking about all of this and saying, wow, I'm glad I'm not them. And I'm not saying this to throw shade at my friends, of course, it's more to say that I'm not in that place in my life. But at the same time, I don't think people in my age group should really be in that place in their lives. Keep in mind, I'm 22 going on 23, and most of my friends with some error of margin are around a year to two years older or younger. And I'm talking about this because I'm seeing a lot of comments that are something along the lines of, I don't have a girlfriend and I don't know how to get one, or I can't find love and I've been looking and I just can't do it. And to those of you I say, don't get a girlfriend. Don't look for love, don't look for a relationship. Let it find you naturally. And I'm going to speak more on this in terms of the guy's side of things, trying to get a girlfriend rather than a girl trying to get a boyfriend, mainly because I don't have much experience looking for a boyfriend. In fact, I don't have any at all. When you're in the younger 15 to 20 range, trying to get a relationship is in many cases pointless because you end up breaking up anyway. Sure, it's good for experience and to understand what it's like to be in one, but it's not usually lasting too long. Then again, I have a couple of friends that are eight years together, high school sweethearts engaged and it worked out for them so it's not to say that it doesn't happen it's just very unlikely but other than that other than to just have a bit of fun and just experiment and understand what it's like to be in a relationship there's really no point in doing the high school relationship type of thing you know focus on school focus on sports focus on friends and making friends but if you fully understand all of this stuff you're looking for hookups you're looking for a short relationship or just to date casually fine run it that's yeah that's a completely different thing and go right ahead and then as you get older you're in college you're out of school you're doing life as a whole think about what your goals as a guy are first think of what your goals are think of what you want to do think of what type of lifestyle you want to lead if you don't know what lifestyle you want to lead if you don't know what your interests fully are you probably don't want to bog any of that down with a partner or a girlfriend or any sort of relationship like that for that matter. Any sort of romantic relationship you probably don't want to have to deal with. Because the truth is when you do enter a relationship, everything becomes slower and you do it less and that goes from schoolwork to friends to sports to anything because you are so infatuated with some new person in your life that is making you feel all the good feelings of being infatuated and hormones and all kinds of fun stuff. Everything is going to take a back seat for quite a significant amount of time. I'm talking months here. And that's kind of a biological thing because as humans, as a species, our goal is to ensure that the species survives. That means procreation, that means being in relationships, that means just creating the new generation, making children, okay? So it is all natural. These are all natural things that go through our heads and why we do the things we do. But, okay, seriously, here we go again with the skeletons. It makes sense why everything else takes a back seat because we are doing the most important thing that we can for our species to survive. But with that comes the problem of the societal way that humanity has now grown to be. We now have jobs and have goals and aspirations for ourselves that all come to a halt when we find a partner. They all kind of take a back seat because our now primal goal of continuing the species comes first. And of course that eventually fades away with time. And if that fades away in a, an aggressive way and you end up breaking up with that person, you end up thinking, wow, that was a year of my life. What have I been doing in this year? And then you start to realize that you haven't been really doing much of anything else other than hanging out with your girlfriend. And you try to go back to everything. Your friends are kind of annoyed at you because you haven't hung out with them. Your grades might have suffered immensely. Your boss might be pissed off with you chronically to the point where you might have been fired. A lot of things could have happened because of this relationship. So that's why I say don't get a relationship. On the other side of that coin, if you're someone who has a good understanding of what they want in life, you have a good understanding of how you want your life to go, what you want in a partner, then I would try and look for a girlfriend, right? Because it's more of a thing that's missing from your life rather than the sole purpose of your life. A lot of people go into relationships thinking that this is their only source of happiness and that this is the only way that they're going to be happy and find success in their life. And the truth is that is the worst possible way to think about it. You should look for someone and think of them as an extension of happiness of your life, not the sole reason. 
You should say, hey, I have a career that I want. I'm going out and having fun with friends. I'm doing X, Y, and Z, but I think it would be better if I could actually add another person, a partner to this. An example is maybe you were going to take a, I don't know, pottery class. And you thought to yourself, hmm, this might be a fun thing to do with someone. But you were going to do it anyway, right? You were going to do this pottery class. You were going to do it regardless. But adding a partner, adding someone to share that experience with will most likely make it more fun. In that same note, maybe today you thought you were going to watch a movie. But hey, maybe watching a movie with a partner might be more fun. You were still going to watch the movie, but you thought to yourself, hmm, this would be more interesting to do with somebody else. And that's when you start dating. That's when you start looking for people that match your interest and match things you want to do, or you're looking for someone that's different than you completely. And maybe that's what's missing. You need someone to add some of that more interesting change in your life rather than looking for someone that you want to share everything with. All right, little side note. I want to upgrade the face of this house and make it out of jungle wood. So let's see how that looks. And that's how you start looking for partners. That's how you start looking for what you want and what you don't want. But you can't do that if you haven't at least started building a foundation of understanding who you are as a person. This kind of falls into the love yourself video, which I have linked above. You can't really know what you love in someone else until you love yourself. And on the same note, you can't know if you're going to like someone if you don't know what you like. Because guess what? The physical appearance of someone is not enough. And as a guy, you might think it's enough because with guys, it's kind of a 50-50. You need to like what your partner looks like a lot of the time to actually be attracted to them. But guess what? Looks fade over time. You get older, you get wrinkly, you get white hair and saggy skin and all kinds of other fun stuff. So what's left? The person's intellect, the person's personality, the person, the things the person likes to do. People are still themselves when they get older, maybe a little different as they get older, but they still are themselves. Unlike looks, personality does not fade. Intellect does not fade. And once again, if you don't know what you're looking for, if you don't know what you like, other than knowing what you want your partner to look like, you're not going to find someone that you want to be with. And that's a mistake that a lot of people make. And I hate to be the person that says, find yourself first without finding a partner, but you don't have to fully find yourself, okay? You just need to have a good understanding of what you want. Take me, for example. I've had one relationship, one serious one anyway, and I learned a lot of things from that relationship. I'm glad that I had that relationship, and I'm also glad that when I got into that relationship, I wasn't necessarily looking for one, but I was definitely not opposed to having one. But before entering that relationship, I had a good understanding of what I wanted, who I wanted to be, and what I was doing, okay? I understood that hey, I want to be in the media industries. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to do this. Or for example, these are my hobbies. I like playing video games. I like to travel to new places. I like doing X, Y, and Z. And logically with those things in mind, I knew what I kind of needed in common with a partner. Start figuring that stuff out for yourself and then you'll see how easy it is to meet someone. For example, let's say you're like me and you like to play pickleball. If you go to a pickleball court on the weekend, odds are you're going to find people that also like to play pickleball who you can join. Maybe you like these people so much that you start doing it more consistently and you form a friend group and all of a sudden you say, hey, maybe we should all go out for drinks together. And then you get this group together, you go out for drinks and you find that you like talking to this one particular girl. Now, you might have not really thought about this particular girl in this way. You might have said, hey, I just want to hang out with people. I want to have friends. And then you say, oh, okay, this one's pretty. This one is interesting. She has more things in common with me than I knew. Hmm, what if I ask her out on a date, right? That kind of sucks, doesn't it? It needs something more. I don't. I can't just be straight down like that. I don't know if it's because of this thing, but hold on. Maybe the glowstone is bothering me. This is turbo boring. I don't like this at all. Let's uh, let's try that again. Anyway, back to the pickleball group. So after you go out for drinks with the whole group, you pull this girl aside. Let's call her Jane. Pull this Jane Doe aside, and you say, "Hey, I think you're attractive. I think." We have things in common. We should get a drink sometime by ourselves. And if she says yes, then great. Go on a few dates. Hopefully you like her and hopefully she likes you back. And if she says no, guess what? You don't have to go out with her again, but you can still play pickleball with her because nothing's really going to change. And yes, you might say to me, but I could catch feelings and all that stuff. And that, that stuff, that will all pass. And you'll say, I like this one more now. The other one bores me. There's always somebody new. There's always somebody else you're going to find attractive. Hell, if guys talk to every single woman they found attractive, they wouldn't have jobs, okay? That's how easy it is to find someone that you think looks cute, right? But this is all besides the point. This here is only for the people 
that have figured out, hey, I like this, I like this, I don't like this. If you are someone who has not figured any of that out, you need to sit down and figure it out first. You need to go out and figure out what you like. You need to go out and embrace the unknown, as I said in a different video. Embracing the unknown in terms of relationships is only good after you've embraced the unknown in your own personal life, okay? Then figure out what you like in other people. But you might say, hold on a minute, Nico. I already met someone in my yoga class. Do you expect me to stop talking to this person? I like started talking to her and I didn't wasn't I was just trying to figure out what I like hobby wise and I kind of like yoga and I met this woman and I'm going to say to you, there you go. You didn't have to try. You didn't even have to look for someone. That someone just showed up. That someone happened accidentally. You found someone you clicked with, you started talking to, you might start dating. That's what I'm trying to say this entire time. You don't have to try so hard. When you're in your teens, when you're in your 20s and you're trying new things and experiencing life and understanding what you like and building a foundation for yourself, that's when that person is just going to show up naturally. As long as you're putting yourself in situations that will allow yourself to meet people and allow yourself to experience new things while also bettering yourself and building upon yourself, a person will show up for you and vice versa. You'll show up for somebody else. Okay. You'll be on someone's radar just the same way that you have someone on your radar. Now take everything I said here with a grain of salt. I am no expert on relationships in any way, shape or form. I'd like to think that I understand relationships and I'd like to think that I understand people and how they're working, but all I have right now is a foundation of who I am. At least I think I do. All I know is that before I had this foundation, I didn't really know. I didn't really know what I wanted or looked for. That's when I started testing the waters. Maybe for you, trying to find a relationship is a better approach. And to you, I say, run it. Let me know in the comments how it went. If it worked, if you think that your approach is better, please let me know because I'm open to being wrong, guys. I'm open to being wrong about things. But regardless, in my opinion, don't look for a girlfriend. Let her find you. Let her find you by developing yourself as a person first, understanding who you are, what you like, and how you want to live your life. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, good night and good luck.